What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. It looks like former WBC middleweight champion Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. He's trying to make a statement. He wants to make it clear to all the middleweights out there that he's back. He's 27 years old. He's obviously the son of a legend, and he's returning in June, and it's going to be on HBO. He wants to fight in Texas or Mexico. Obviously, either one has a high Hispanic population. Would be a good look for him. He can definitely draw a huge crowd. Different opponents being considered would be Matthew Macklin, Dominico Spada or Brian Vera. Chavez said he would also uh, entertain a fight with Gennady Golovkin. He's not afraid of Triple G, and that's a possible matchup that they can make, I believe. Um, I don't think Triple G's with Golden Boy, so I think that fight could actually take place. If you watch my previous videos, you'll know I said that's a match I would love to see, Chavez Jr. versus Gennady Golovkin. It appears to me that Chavez Jr., um, Despite where you rank him, it looks like he inherited his father's chin. He took some serious shots from Sergio Martinez, somebody who's put people down, like Paul Williams and um, Macklin. Him, uh, Sergio beat Macklin and put him down in the 11th round. So it looks like he could take some punishment. So that's a good um, good look. And on top of that, if you really think about it, Chavez Jr. Um, has been known not to be a gym rat or not to be necessarily a workhorse. So if he comes back really focused, I'd be anxious to see um, where he would be just on pure strength and um, size and chin. I'm not saying he's horrible, but he, I mean, he hits hard and stuff, but he lacks some of the um, fundamentals. I feel like a fighter like Martinez is just going to severely outbox him. So if he's in there with a boxer, um, that can't take his power, then that's when he's going to struggle. So when that gives him a lot of lateral movement and angles. But either way, Chavez Jr., he's um, entertaining to watch. When he first came out, I was like, wow, who is this? He's another um, fighter trying to make a name off his father. That's when he came out like years ago. And I have seen a growth in him. And I'm not saying I rank Chavez on my pound for pound list or, or nothing because his biggest test was Sergio Martinez. He didn't train properly, and he didn't rise to the occasion. But I have seen a level of improvement, and I definitely will admit that. Again, he's a fighter that's entertaining. I would love to see a Gennady Golovkin, and we could really assess where Gennady Golovkin's at, somebody who's actually bigger than him, unlike Rosado, and somebody who we know can take a punch. And that, to me, will be a good fight. Because I want to see what Gennady Golovkin does and the adjustments he makes. Gennady Golovkin doesn't really have head movement. And um, we know Chavez Jr. can pop. I mean, he's he's a big, strong young boy. So um, as far as the possible opponents for the moment, I would be content with pretty much all those. Personally, I would rather see Matthew Macklin or Brian Vera. Matthew Macklin, um, I think that would be a good fight. He got stopped by Sergio Martinez. But he beat Alcine in the first round via KO. Um, actually, it was on the Martinez Chavez Jr. card. It was one of the undercard fights. And even though Sergio beat Macklin, um, Macklin definitely gave Sergio some problems. Some problems that had people questioning where Sergio was at this point in his career. But Matthew Macklin had a strong showing. He did get stopped by Sergio Martinez, but um, he held a good account of himself. And then he followed up with... Uh, first round KO to Alcine. So I think that would be a good matchup to see him against Chavez Jr. Or even Brian Vera. I think that's a good match. I would like to see that. I believe Brian Vera is from Texas himself. He's beat uh, Zenzurik, Sergio Mora twice. He did lose to Andy Lee, somebody Chavez Jr. beat. And again, I think that's a good um, that's a good fight. Brian Vera, he's Mexican-American, and he was from Texas. Chavez Jr. has fought in Texas before. I think it would be a good fight. They can definitely bring a crowd out. And I'm anxious to see what Chavez Jr. looks like upon his return. Let me know what you guys think. How do you see uh, Martinez fight playing out if they were to rematch? Who do you want to see him fight out of the possible opponents that I have mentioned? Let me know where you rank Chavez Jr. and that kind of thing. My only advice is I want to see Chavez Jr. stop the bullshit, take everything serious, and really see what he's made of train like no other stop sleeping till 5 p.m and eating lucky charms and swimming in the pool or just other things and having makeshift workouts really take it serious because i want to see um his full potential because to this point it looks like we might not have been getting that 
we might have been getting the weed smoking makeshift um, workout Chavez Jr. So I want to see how he how he would look full throttle. Again, it looks like he has a chin. He's a strong kid, um, hits hard, and it looks like he can take some punishment. So I'd be anxious to see where um, they place him for his next fight. Let me know what you guys think. As far as Freddie Roach, I don't know if Roach is even going to be training him. I did a, a video a long time ago saying that I don't see that relationship um, lasting down the stretch. As of right now, to me, it's not official, so I don't know if Roach is going to continue training Chavez Jr., but I think they will at some point end up parting ways if they haven't already. Let me know what you guys think of Chavez Jr. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.